and we're back. Okay, where you go? Can you see these three coils I made? Yeah. You got those? So I've got lots of coils here. Uh, remember this, can you see the board? There you go. So this is the shape that I've made my base and I want the overall form to look something like that. When you're building, so this is a profile view, that's the base. When you're building the coils, if you build them straight on top of each other, the form will, will rise vertically. If you put the coils slightly on the outside, you can start to make like a bowl shape where it'll start to move outward. If you put the coils on the inside edge, you can start to bring the shape back in. So that's how you control how wide or how narrow your uh, shape is going. So again, I'm gonna score my coil, put just a little bit of water, score this coil, and then make sure that when you're putting the coil on, you're pressing down. You wanna not trap air and you want to make sure that you get really good contact. Now, because I've got such a long coil here, I'm going to pause for a second and I'm going to score this again because I know that I want to continue to go around. And then I'll just keep, I can just keep going. Hi, Laura. made it exactly all the way back around. Okay, I'm going to score it again. Score this one. Water, just a little. Could keep going with this one, but I'm gonna stop there for a second. All right, Rigo, you gotta you gotta get a close up on this. So, um, you can decide to leave the coils on the outside, or you can smooth them out. But at least e either, at least on the inside, what you need to do. Can you get in here and see see what I'm doing here? You need to weld this down with your thumb or your finger and make sure that you get a really good contact on the inside. So if you've added too much water, this part's gonna be kind of messy and difficult to do, but you need to go all the way around and weld, whoops, weld the inside really well. Your goal should be to make it fairly smooth on the inside. So can you see, you got a good shot of what I'm doing here, Rigo? So I'm, I'm supporting it from the outside and I'm just, because my clay is so soft right now, it's easy to do this. If you wait to do this until your clay is leather hard, it's not going to work. So make sure that every three or four coils, you're doing this action where you're welding the inside edge and then take the time to make it look nice and smooth on the inside. Okay. Now you, could, you also have the option, um, if you feel like it's a little bit too thick, you can go around and pinch this just like you did with the pinch pots. Um, and then you can make this, you know, are you follow, follow my head, right? You could make this as tall as you want it, but something around this height would be sufficient for the first project. 
This is a simple coil pot, so this one doesn't have to be really elaborate. This is just sort of a skill building exercise to make a basic coil pot like this, which would be used, what could you use this for? You could put some flowers in there, you could put pencils on your parents' desk. Uh, you, it, has, it could have a lot of uses. If you put a lid on it, you could hide your cookies in there. Yeah. But you have to make sure that it's big enough for you because then you can't, I can't get, if I could put cookies in here, I can't get them out. Okay. We're done. <laughs>